Hello friends, welcome back. Now I've reviewed every track on every Elton John studio album and I am now in a position to rank all of his studio albums from number 34 to number 1. And I'm including a couple of um, collaboration albums in there and a film soundtrack as well. So let's get straight into it. Now remember I rank each track out of 10. I then work out an average mark per track for that album. That's how I rank them. As I mention each album, I'm going to mention a couple of my favourite tracks from each one. Now, I should say, I like all of these albums. Um, I don't dislike any of them. I would listen to any of them as well. It's just that I'd rank some higher than others. At number 34, we go back to 1979 and Elton John's disco outing, Victim of Love. Much maligned album, and it sometimes ranks on those videos of worst albums of all time. It's not great. But it's not that bad either. And there's a couple of decent tracks on here. The title track, Victim of Love itself, is actually pretty good. And there's a couple of others like Thunder in the, in the Night, uh, Warm Love in a Cold World. They're not that bad. Uh, it's just there's no original Elton John material on this one. And it was a little bit of a misfire. Number 33, we're going right back to the start. 1969 and Elton John's first solo album, Empty Sky. Now, the title track is very good indeed. It's also got the sublime Skyline Pigeon on there. But it's also got quite a lot of experimental, fairly psychedelic tracks as well, which are a little bit hard to get into. Number 32 sees us in 1982 and Jump Up. Now, again, this is one of the very early albums I bought of Elton John, and I love this album, actually. It's just that the consistency of the tracks is not quite as high as some of the other albums. What do we like on here particularly? Um, now, uh, Where Have All the Good Times Gone is a great uh, rocking track. All Quiet on the Rest and Front. Uh, Blue Eyes, of course. Legal Boys is a standout track for me, uh, but a lot of people also love Empty Garden, uh, Elton John's tribute to John Lennon. At uh, number 31, we're going back to 1993 for the Duets album. Uh, a bit of a mixed bag of 16 different tracks here, collaborations with 15 other artists. There are some decent original songs on here, such as The Power, which Elton recorded with Little Richard. And it's also got that great duet with George Michael, the live version of Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. At number 30, we're going back to 1983 for Too Low for Zero, an album I like a great deal. It's got, of course, on it, I'm Still Standing, and I guess that's why they call it the blues. Maybe some of the sporting tracks not quite so strong. At number 29, we're going right back to 1975, which was coming towards the end of Elton's sort of golden period of albums. Uh, and it's the album Rock of the Westies. Now, surrounded by some brilliant albums, this one was a little bit on the weaker side. It's still got some fine tracks on it, um, such as uh, I Feel Like a Bullet in the Gun of Robert Ford, one of Elton's finest deep cuts, actually. Um, but generally, uh, although it's quite a, a, a noisy album, this one, in a way, uh, it did sort of lack the quality of others in the 1970s. Now, number 28, we're going to 1974 for Caribou. Possibly Elton's worst album cover of all time there. It's got some great tracks on it, of course. Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, being by far the best, and The Bitch is Back, one of Elton's greatest uh, rockers. But again, a little bit inconsistent on this one. And it has the absolutely awful track, Solar Prestige, if you've ever had the misfortune of listening to that one. At number 27, we're going back to 1986 for Leather Jackets. Um, maybe one of Elton's least popular uh, albums, certainly one he wasn't terribly happy with himself. Nevertheless, a few decent tracks on this. Go It Alone, particularly, uh, is a driving, exciting track. Uh, Paris is a pretty successful uh, one as well. At 26, we have Made in England, Elton's uh, recording from 1995. Lots of single word songs on this, and the highlights for me would probably be please and the absolutely wonderful blessed at number 25 we're going back to the lockdown for the lockdown sessions um, elton's most recent offering to us um, and a series of collaborations he put together during the pandemic um, a bit of a mixed bag but some good quality tracks on that for instance um it's a sin which he did with years and years there's the collaborations with charlie pooth 
and uh, Rina Sawayama, also very successful, along with the wonderful song Finish Line with Stevie Wonder. At 24, we go to 2004 and Peach Tree Road. Um, I like a lot of these uh, later Elton albums, and this one is no exception. Uh, generally, a good quality of song on this. Um, All That I'm Allowed, I'm Thankful, is a very popular song uh, with many. Uh, there's some good um, upbeat ones like They Call Her The Cat. And Turn The Lights Out When You Leave is a good ballad from this one. 23, it's 1985 and it's Ice On Fire. Another album I really like. Um, some generally good tracks on this from the opener of this town. It's got Nikita, of course. Uh, and it's got Wrap Her Up, which was um, one he recorded along with uh, George Michael. And it's got Shoot Down the Moon, the song Elton was hoping would be used as a Bond track. And in fact, would have made a very good one. At 22, a real rarity. It's 1971 and Elton's first film soundtrack, Friends. Uh, not a lot to get your teeth into on this one, but there are two beautiful ballads, the title track. Uh, and Michelle's song, which are both absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a couple of other things on there and a bit of sort of filler material, but still a, a nice album to listen to. At 21, we're going to 1997, and this is a bit of an album that splits the Alton fans. Uh, it's the big picture. Now, uh, for me, there are some fantastic tracks on this, including one of my very favourite Alton songs ever, Live Like Horses. Um, there's also something about The Way You Look Tonight, which is a great ballad, and Recover Your Soul, very much like that. It's also got one of my least favourite Elton tracks on it, which is the title track, The Big Picture. Number 20 is Red Strikes Back from 1988, and you may be a bit surprised to see this placed reasonably highly, uh, but some decent tracks on here. I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That, of course, it's a great pop song. Um, I really like Heavy Traffic as well, The Camera Never Lies, you know, Poor Cow, there's some good stuff on that. And of course, the second part of Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, the follow-up to his original song from Honky Chateau uh, about living in New York City. Number 19, we're going back to 1984 for Breaking Hearts, which you may be surprised to see placed so highly. It's got sad songs on it, which is a great track. But what puts it quite high up is a run of three really good tracks on the second side in Neon, Burning Buildings and Did He Shoot Her. One of Elton's best runs of three consecutive tracks on an album. At number 18, we're going back to 1984, 21 at 33. Bit of a sort of disco-y feel to some of the tracks on this. Couple of absolutely wonderful tracks here. Little Genie and Sartorial Eloquence. Uh, and even some of the support tracks like uh, Give Me Your Love, pretty impressive as well. Um, an underrated piece of work, I would say. At number 17, we're going to 2016 and Elton's Wonderful Crazy Night. I do like this album. Uh, the title track is really good and it's got Looking Up as well, which is another one of his great rockers. Some very interesting songs on here. Some of them uh, about particular individuals telling stories. Um, and a lot of people like The Open Chord. England and America is another one and A Good Heart. So lots to enjoy on that. Number 16, and it's 1989, Sleeping With The Past. In a way, Elton's tribute to some of the artists who inspired him in his younger days. Uh, some fine tracks on this. The Rousing Healing Hands is a great track. Club at the End of the Street is just a beautiful song. Uh, and of course, it's got Sacrifice on it. Um, and it's got Blue Avenue as well, a really melancholic uh, end to the album. So some really good tracks there. Number 15, we're going back to 1981 for The Fox. A lot of people love this album. There's some great stuff on here, including the hugely underrated song, Just Like Belgium. Nobody Wins, again, is another great track with kind of continental feel to it. And it's got this wonderful orchestrated Carla Etude and fanfare moving into the song uh, Chloe. It's also got Elton's song, Heels of the Wind. You know, there's not many weak tracks on this at all. Number 14, we're going to 2010 for Elton's collaboration with his musical hero, Leon Russell. It's The Union. Uh, now, this one never disappoints. There's so much good material on here. They work so well together. Difficult to pick out some tracks. Hey Ahab is just a fantastic rocker, which everybody seems to enjoy, as uh, we do with Monkey Suit. Lots of people also love Gone to Shiloh as well. Um, and... Um, 
you know, it's a great set of songs, this, uh, and uh, you know, two musical geniuses coming together. Number 13 from 1976, one of my favourite albums is Blue Moves. And this is a double album, uh, and this stretches right across uh, Elton's repertoire of different sorts of songs. You've got rockers on here, you've got disco, uh, you've got ballads, you've got a bit of jazz, you've got quite a few instrumentals on here. Of course, it's got sorry seems to be the hardest word, but it's got lots of uh, underrated songs uh, as well on here. Um, I mean, the things like Crazy Water, again, is one of my favourites. It's got Tonight with some great instrumental music on there. It's got One Horse Town, another great rocker. Uh, loads to enjoy here, including the deep cut Where's the Shira, which of course made an appearance on the lockdown sessions with Duo Leaper. At number 12 from 2013, The Diving Board. Interesting album, not one of Elton's greatest covers, got, got to say, uh, but lots of interesting writing on here. Um, Oceans Away, which is a kind of a wartime uh, tribute. You've got the song about Oscar Wilde. Um, you've got uh, Take This Dirty Water, one of my favourites uh, from uh, this one. Uh, so lots of good things. Mexican Vacation is another great uh, rocker that um, goes well live. Number 11 from 2001, Songs from the West Coast, also one of Elton's finest album covers because it really opens out to be this massive picture. Uh, now, some great tracks on here. Of course, uh, This Train Don't Stop There Anymore is the standout track uh, from this one. But there's lots of other good ones. Original Sin, Birds is kind of a cult classic among fans, American Triangle uh, as well. Lots to enjoy on there. So we're now getting into my top 10 Elton albums. At number 10, we're going to 1992 for The One. Now, not everybody enjoys the production on this, and I was a bit critical of the production, but the quality of the songs is very good indeed. From the start, we have Simple Life. Then we have uh, The One, um, which is a great track. Runaway Train, Eric Clapton appearing on there. Um, and uh, On Dark Street is another one. And of course, The Sublime, The Last Song. Uh, the very final track. Number nine from 1972 is Honky Chateau. Now, a lot of people might put this slightly higher than me. I still love this album. Honky Cat is a song I'm not that keen on, I have to say, but lots of other ones on there. Of course, it's got uh, Rocket Man on there. It's got Salvation on there. It's got Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatters, which is a beautiful song. Fine piece of work. At number eight from 2006 is Elton's follow-up to Captain Fantastic, and it's The Captain and the Kid. Uh, here, with Bernie, they update their story with more autobiographical songs, and they're pretty good. I love Old 67, which is about them getting together and reminiscing about the old days. The title track is good. My favourite track, though, is The Bridge, a very moving ballad uh, and a really great track, I think, and one to savour. Number seven from 1978 is A Single Man. Now, some people say, why have you got this so high? It's because probably it was my first Elton John album and I still love listening to this. Of course, it's got Song for Guy on it, which everybody knows, but it's got some lovely other material. Shine On Through is a great ballad to start. You've got a rocker like I Don't Care, It Ain't Gonna Be Easy, and it's got Part Time Love, which is a great pop song. At number six from 1970 is the wonderful Elton John album. It's got your song on it. It's got Take Me to the Pilot, 60 Years On, Border Song, uh, The King Must Die. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, selection of, of uh, recordings. I Need You to Turn To is another lovely ballad. Uh, check this out if you haven't already. At number five from 1975, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Probably Elton's finest uh, album cover. It's his Sergeant Pepper moment. We've got Someone Save My Life Tonight. We've got We All Fall In Love Sometimes. And the very underrated song, Writing For Me. Check this out if you don't know it. It's a lovely piece of cohesive songwriting, both in melody and lyric. It's quality all the way now. Number four, 1971. We're going to Madman Across the Water, which has recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. Of course, you'll know it from Tiny Dancer. You'll know it from Indian Sunset, uh, Leave On. Uh, so much quality on here. The title track uh, is strange, uh, but hypnotic uh, in its quality. 
and that uh, sort of melancholic moving goodbye at the end. Uh, it's just a wonderful piece of creative work. Number three, 1973, Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Uh, I love this album, so much good material on it. Daniel, of course, uh, the most famous track, I, I suppose. But so much quality on it, Teacher I Need You, Blues for Baby and Me, the wonderful Have Mercy on the Criminal. Um, it's got Texan Love Song, Crocodile Rock, and High Flying Bird as well. It's quality all the way. Well, number two, my second favourite highest rated album of all of Elton's is from 1973, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. I probably don't need to say much about this. It's a double album of the highest quality and variety, really, from things like Saturday Night for Fighting um, to uh, the opening track, you know, Love Lies, Bleeding and Funeral for a Friend. What a wonderful combination. Uh, and we've also got Candle in the Wind on there. We've got great rockers uh, like All the Girls Love Alice and things like Roy Rogers, wonderful quirky ballad. Uh, it's just wonderful. It's iconic. And... Elton now, of course, is saying goodbye to the Yellow Brick Road. So it only leaves one record left. We're going back to 1970. And my favourite Elton John album of all time is Tumbleweed Connection. Now, this is kind of a concept album exploring that sort of American West feeling. All the songs fit together um, in that sort of uh, genre, in that sort of mood. And what have we got on here? We've got Burn Down, The Mission, of course, that may be uh, the best known one. Um, Come Down in Time is a sublime, beautiful uh, ballad. We've got Love Song on here, not written by Elton, but with Leslie Duncan. Again, just a moment of absolute beauty. Country Comfort, we've got My Father's Gun, uh, we've got Where To Now, St Peter, and a great ballad, Talking Old Soldiers. Uh, just sheer quality writing in melody and lyric and performance. That's my favourite. So there we go. I've rated those in order. No doubt you'll disagree, but that's absolutely fine. Send me in your ratings if you want to of all 30 uh, or pick out maybe your top five or top 10 albums. List them below and I'll do a bit of a follow up video rounding up your comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we're still standing.